that. Yes. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, yeah. buddy. Hey. I, yeah, it's funny. I always reminisce and think about the calls like this we did with Andrew in the early days of 2015. And um, yeah, I just was so excited to jump on here and learn and sink my teeth into it and go out and execute and do the work and get some customers and get a bit more money and a bit more and then find the next event and attend. I was super excited to always show up and do this. So um, yes, we're recording. So uh, you guys feel the same way? Are you excited about this opportunity? Yeah, you're excited about enrolling new customers. You excited about helping them enroll others and getting leveraged income? How many of you want leveraged income? Income that comes when you don't have to do all the work, right? How many of you have experienced that before? How many of you experienced leveraged income? Excellent. If you need one word, how would you describe leveraged income? I get paid every day, every week. You pay, get paid every week if you don't do the work, right? Yep. How good. I think I can hear myself in the other room. Hello? Echoing. <laughs> what else? It's hard to go back once you've experienced it, more than one yeah. word. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard to go back once you've experienced it. Once you've seen the light of day, you have seen the promised land. It's hard to go back. Great income, freedom. So true. Once you've seen it, like I got a glimpse of that, I got a taste of it. Uh oh. Let's go get some more. All right. Excellent. So we are recording officially, right? So is it say recording on your computers? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not just a note taker platform. In fact, is there a note taker platform in here? I'm just going to remove this. Yes, there is. Okay. Are we done? All out? No AIs in here? Just human beings? Okay. Excellent. Wonderful. So. Um, who's excited for week two? Yes, great, excellent. See everyone furiously doing their homework tasks, getting it in there. One tip I might add to if you want a tip, who wants a tip? <laughs> the universe knows everything about you. Can't hide. It knows how bad you, badly you want this, but it also knows that if you neglect it and do your homework last minute, it goes, you don't really want it that bad. It knows when you half ass stuff. And whatever energy you put out there in terms of what you do is what it, it understands and it gives you that back. So I would suggest if there's homework tasks to be done, I wouldn't even say it's just about doing it. I would say it's about doing it the best. In fact, I would be aiming to be the number one person in this side hustle school. So if there's a homework task, I would be 10 xing it just to piss everyone off in the group. I would just, I would just do that. Be like, this is, this is what it looks like. This is how ambitious I am. You guys are doing ten. You, you're doing this. I'm doing this. It shows the universe that I want to be free. So, I would encourage you to do the homework, but go do it like ten x everyone else. Irritate them with your success. It's time to stick out. This is a chance. This is a vehicle to allow you to do it. All right. So with that said, let's uh, kick it off um, officially. Share my screen. Get rid of Macklemore. Okay. <clears throat> Here we go. Week two, Side Hustle School. I've had a few people reach out to me this week actually saying, hey, what, when, what, what's this Side Hustle School thing you posted on your stories? I'm like, too late. You missed the webinar. You have to wait till next year. So well done to you guys. You don't have to wait till next year. Okay, because January is going to be huge in this business. Massive. And so we're training you up so that you can hit the ground running. So next month, the month after, November, December, you do a lot of work. You won't, You may not see that many results, but then January, you, you know, you'll lift, which will be awesome. So you get a great start to 2025 because you want to have to go through this. So here's a homework. Uh, this is what it was. Uh, follow up on Follow step one on eforfreeclub.info and become an associate. How many How many of you did that? How many? Shit. Lost my, lost my Zoom there. How many did that? You're all associates? Done, done, done. Yep. Excellent. Anyone not? 
It's okay, you can be too, super, if you're not, just tell us. Okay, that's good news. All right, excellent. Was it easy? Just push a big button. Pay 25 bucks. Excellent. Okay, cool. So now, the next homework task. <clears throat> Create a recommended cart, 14 day pack, two shade canisters, one onyx, one cleanse for life, one box of, and potentially if you want one box of eShops, right? How many of you created a recommended cart? Excellent. Was it tricky? Cheryl's nodding her head like, yes, it was tricky. Did you guys get help in your groups? Or did you just figure it out? Are you guys all in battle groups? Are you all in your little groups? Go like this if you're not. I just started mine this evening, as you've seen. Yes. Found that everyone. Means, that means all the people in your group, Padma, should be doing this because they may not be in a group. Well, they are in a group now. They're all not, They're all in that. Oh, Basically, perfect. Wonderful. Excellent. Figured it out. Cool. Yeah, so everyone's in a little accountability group with each other. It's exciting. If you're not, please comment no in the chat right now. So we can make sure you are. Okay, that's good news. Oh, Franny's not. Does anyone want someone who's earned six figures in network marketing in their group? I will put, I will tell her which yes. group she's in. I'll tell her which group she's in. No, group six. Group six. Group Franny, come to us. Group two. You've had enough of Franny. We need to send her somewhere else. Franny, you're actually in group one. You're in group one. Aww. You're with Daniela Tamara. You're in group one. So whoever's leading group one, can you please add Franny? Franny Perez. Uh, who was Aaron with last week? What do you mean? What battle group is he in? Who's got Aaron? Yeah, Aaron was on the call last week, so I just don't know what what group we're in. Uh, did you guys register late for Side Hustle School? Uh, no. Yes, they did. And you're in oh. Group 8, Kylie. <laughs> I'm in Group 8. Okay, thank you. <laughs> group 8, Aaron. There you go. Wonderful. Excellent. So everyone's in a group now. Okay, exciting stuff. Great. This is super important for you, okay, to be in a group and accountable. Excellent. Make sure you use those groups. Talk to each other every day, especially with the homework tasks, right? Use it as a chance to lead if you want to be a leader. Use it as a chance to learn if you want to be a learner. Okay. Queen. Yeah, Kylie won her her uh, pageant uh, over the last few days, which is amazing. Got a huge tiara. Sleeping with it. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> so we're good. Homework task going well. Join the Who joined the Facebook groups? Excellent. And part of the homework task was to post in each of the groups. Who did that? Excellent. Anyone not do that? Okay, cool. Thank you for being honest. Can I ask you guys a question, those that didn't do it? What do you think held you back? I think I'd already done it before and I didn't have something particular to put in. So I'm sorry, I did miss that one. Who are you apologizing to? myself <laughs> ah okay so here here's here's make it simple right so here's what i would love you guys who, who are the three or four there's three or four of you guys that didn't, weren't able to do that okay cool so all the ones that weren't here's what i want you to do while i'm going through the homework task now and starting this call off go right now and post in each one of those three groups here's how simple it needs to be ready don't copy me but i'm just giving you an example rediscover you.info where all the people come for the information Super pumped to get started on my next um, health goal. Love this program. Simple as that. Customer group. Hey, what's your best tip when it comes to this program? The side hustle group. Side hustle brackets Team Eagle. Hey, what would be your number one best tip for someone who's just starting in the business? There's three posts. Bang, bang, bang. So here's what I want you to do. All you guys who haven't done the homework task, please now go and execute that and come back. Stay on the call, but just get on while you're on your phone. Go do it now. 
the power of now, the power of now. That's what action looks like. Messi, not perfect. That's, how, that's what it looks like. We need to get you moving, okay? Awesome. Great. So that means everyone will have done that homework task. Uh, post, post, post. And then your vision board into Team Eagle, which would have been ideal. Um, your vision board is super important. So how many of you didn't do a vision board? Didn't do a vision board. One, only a couple of you. So Donnie, you did a vision board, but you just didn't post in the group yet. Yes, no. You did it, Gary. Awesome. I'm just being really pedantic because what, like, why are you on site? Like, why are we here? Why, why are we on site after school? Why are you here? Why waste an hour of your, of your time? We're here to take action. Okay. Why are we here to take action, Tam? Because I want to make money, Lloyd. <laughs> sure. And what's the fastest way to learn? Is jump on the side hustle school and learn from the experts. That's not the fastest, a very good way, very important <laughs> way. But what would you say is they're going to get people learning, not not even getting money the fastest, what's just going to get them learning the fastest? Is watching, yeah, taking action and watching what I'm doing. Just taking action, guys. It's all it is. You're going to learn way more from taking action than you will from me. You and I could get on a Zoom call for 20 years and do this, but you're going to learn way more if you just go and action stuff right now. Like, honestly, action is the only way to learn stuff. People are so seduced by learning. They come to science school like this. Okay, I'm going to learn. And they learn for an hour. And they get off and go, oh, I just did work for an hour. Oh, yeah, I'm on my way. I'm on my way to financial independence. It's going to be amazing. So oh, I learned so much today. I'm a learner. Go me. Yeah. Unfortunately, that's not how you make money. It's not how you get. It's not how you win. So this is not work. This is fun. Your brain's like, oh, this is nice. It gets all fuzzy and, well, oh, we just learned how to do that. I'm going to teach some cool stuff today. In fact, I'm going to teach you the skills that we've used to make millions of dollars. How many of you want to learn those skills? Millions. Millions and millions. We still make millions with them. It's not like we just switched it off. Great. Okay, cool. So uh, we have to get into action, yes? So every week I'll come in here and we're going to, we're going to unpack the homework because the reality is I don't want you on this call unless you're doing the action. If you're not going to take the action, please leave the call. Honestly, it's a waste of time. It's not even worth being here. So, it's very simple homework tasks. Posting in a Facebook group, right? It's not 2007 now. I don't know if you know that. It's 2024. Not using social media now is not lot, is like not being able to speak or read in 1980. How many of you think you could have been successful if you couldn't read or write in 1980? Couldn't be. So if you don't, if you don't using social media now to make money, it's like not being able to drive, not being able to read. It's a very bad thing for money making specifically. Okay. So use your battle groups. If you're stuck somewhere, like I don't know how to post, I don't know, how to, just ask in the group or ask us, like ask someone. But we must get into action especially this week, all right? So if you haven't done the homework, go to it now while you're on the call. And every week, I'm going to check on the homework. So make sure you do it, all right? Because this is how you're going to learn the most. I just, that's what, I'm here because I care about you guys. And I want to make sure you win. And I just wouldn't want you to be on a call and just float around. This is going to be so boring for you. <clears throat> okay. So here we go. All right. Now we got through that. Connect with your battle teams number seven. Great. Big homework task for the week, but it was, well, it was little ones, but it was all there. So let's do a pop quiz. How this works is um, you're just going to, I'm going to ask a question. And as soon as you know the answer to the question, just say your first name is your buzzer. And then I'll see, give the answer. And we'll see. Actually, you know what? We'll give away a prize this week. Um, whoever wins this quiz, we're going to send you a box of fiber snacks. A free box. How many of you want a free box of fiber snacks? Okay, cool. So the winner of this quiz, in fact, we might have two winners. So the top two winners of this quiz are each going to get a fiber snack. A box of fiber snacks or something like that, right? We'll find some products. Cool. So who's ready to go? All right. So we've got some products on the table here to win. So let's just see if your buzzers are working. So when I do a pretend question, okay, I'm going to say, are your buzzers working? You come off mute and say your first name. All right. Dad, Dad, working. Dad, oh, Dad. I've lost my voice. <laughs> Still working though. 
Mm-hmm. Are you, so, oh, ready? On the count of three. Are your buzzers working? Jam! Yes! Oh, yes. Ready. 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 Okay. No. <laughs> okay. I don't know if we got everyone there, but okay. <laughs> this is what we're going to do. We're going to play a game. This is how you play life, guys. Like, if you can't unmute your line and say, Lloyd, or whatever it is, you ain't going to make money. This is your chance. Come be ridiculous with us. This is what it looks like to make money. Ready to go? Yes. Yes. Hello. Okay, now we've got you. We've got your attention. All right, let's go. Here we go. Pop quiz, hot shot. Ready? <laughs> Question one, why network marketing? Katrina. 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 Freedom. Leveraged income. Leveraged income. Yeah, leveraged income. Oh, leveraged yes, it's there. Income. Leverage. We'll give you that point. One to Katrina. Okay, you got to be ready, guys. you got to be ready. Your first name is the buzzer. Next question. Why isogenics? Katrina. I don't know. Katrina. Because it is a consumable, highly consumable product that you can't get anywhere else. Gets results visible and emotionally. Transformational. Oh, yeah, consumable. Uh, yeah, we'll give you that. You got transformational consumable rights, so we'll give you those two out of that. But also, you could have had industry leading competition playing culture and values, a strong, strong financial position, and that's and room for growth as a company. Oh, all right, shit, put that one out. <clears throat> okay, ready? Two for Katrina. We're giving away two prizes, so you got, got to step it up, guys. Ready? As soon as you see the yellow come out, hit me, Katie. Katie. <laughs> <laughs> Just an awesome, awesome community, and we've got the best mentors ever in the whole entire world. <laughs> it's funny because you did it like, oh, now I'm gonna get the answer. What the flipping heck you're is the, it? You're the guru, Lloyd. Just let's, ask it. Let's have a let. Let's have a look here. Ready? Strong mentorship. All right, we'll give you that one. Okay. Okay, ready to go. One to Katie, two to Katrina. What Facebook group would you Katrina? add? To? Yeah. Katrina. Rediscover You Info Group. Yes, one point to you, three to you. Okay, ready? What is your go-to website for the Team Eagles? Katie. Katie. Eatforfreeclub.info. Eatforfreeclub.info. Yes, www.eatforfreeclub.info. The go-to. Come on, guys. Two. <laughs> two to you, three to Katrina, is it? <laughs> okay, ready? Oh, no, that was it. So Katrina one, Katie, huh. Katie one and two. All right. So we'll give you guys, we'll shoot you the box of uh fiber snacks. All right. Next next week, if we decide to do this again, no executives, no, no p- brand newbies only. We need to throw them under the we need to put them in the deep end. Let's put them, let's expose them. I held off on a couple. I know you did. I know. <laughs> You're a team player. So if you've been you cheated, around Katrina. She's just been around. Katr- she cheated. Katrina cheated. <laughs> <laughs> you cheated by showing up for seven years straight. Yeah, exactly. How dare she? <laughs> Staying close yeah. to the fire. Next week we'll do uh, like newbies you. only, right? So pop quiz next week. So pay close attention. That was awesome. All right, we'll give away prizes. Okay, so just important date to note down. This uh, is coming up. It's the Biohack Masterclass. It's an on. It's a webinar we run. And does everyone know why we run this webinar? To get information for our clients. Yes, Fiona, that's correct. So if you have friends or family or connections in your network who are seeing your results, want to learn more about the products of Isogenics or what you're doing, then this is the perfect thing to invite them to. It's called the Biohack Masterclass, but it's actually camouflage as, hey, we're going to actually teach you about the science of Isogenics and why it's such a good idea to trial it for 30 days. But um, so we've been doing this and it's super successful. So really, really interesting webinar. So just so you know, when you invite people to this, they're not going to get some weird network marketing, buy my stuff, Isogenics webinar. Okay. It's actually very valuable. We talk about important science as to what happens in your body when you consume the right nutrition. Okay. It's very well crafted. So if you're wanting to enroll your first two customers to graduate, then this would be a good idea to invite them to this. Okay. Um, so, So the, the times Sunday, the 10th of November at 6 PM Brisbane time, Monday, 11 November at 10 a.m. and 6 p.m. Brisbane time. So we're running three of these. So you've got three chances to get someone, a few people on and get them enrolled. Okay, so if someone leans in to get to ask you for more information, of course, you can add them to our Facebook group and tag them in this. And you can tag them in this replay. It's in there already because we've done so many. But this will be live. 
So you can get them on live and they can interact and ask questions and get started, right? So how do you register? You can all go register right. Is it, can they, Alicia, can they register now? Yes. Yep, for sure. Yeah, you, you can. Okay, guys, so go to biohackmasterclass.com right now and register for this. Of course, if you want to leverage it and bring people to it, participate. So we'll teach you a lot about the products as well. Some of you are just brand new on the products and will want to watch this to see how they work in more detail. At least you just put the um, link in the chat. So click on that now. Register for for that that first time, I think, or the second time, what time you want. Remember, there's three, so you've got three chances to bring people. And between now and then, which is not too far away, it's probably about three weeks away, you'd want to be thinking about some of the people you'd want to invite to that who want to learn about the products. Or maybe they've talked to you and they're not quite ready to start yet. They're maybes, they got price objections, they, you know, whatever. Get as many of those people on as possible to this and we'll really help you because I'll do all the talking and stuff like that and it may make it super compelling and easy for them to start, especially affordably as well. So there you go. Once you're uh, registered, just pop done in the chat like Fiona has. Wonderful, excellent. And in the same breath, if you have people in your teams uh, or in your you network your customers, lots of customers who are loving the products. How many of you have got customers that love the product? Okay, cool, awesome. If you have those customers who love the products, invite them along and encourage them to invite some of their friends and family along too. They'll love it, they'll enjoy the process and um, if they wanna start as well, we'll explain how to do that simply at the end and then you can get them started and enroll them and you know earn your income and help some other people as well. Okay, cool. So that's an important date. Pop it in your diary, get ready for it. It will be here before we know it. So we're going to teach you now in this section of Side Hustles, we're going to teach you how to get people onto this masterclass. We're going to teach you marketing. We're going to teach you networking. We're going to teach you the core skills of building a million dollar network marketing business on this week's Side Hustle School, which is the five core building activities. Week two, five core business building activities of any business ever, forever. Amen. There will not be any others. These are the five core ones. <laughs> We're using multiple businesses that we have, okay? So there's this, if you go to um, uh, eatforfreeclub.info, which is the go-to resource. I just popped it in the chat there. If you go there and you scroll all the way to the bottom, okay, all the way to the bottom, you'll find this... Um, a link there that says BAM Tracker. It's a button that says BAM Tracker. And if you click on that, you'll find a Dropbox link, and you can actually just have this document. It's just a one-pager. It's called the BAM Tracker. And BAM stands for Bare Ass Minimum. And so this would be your activity you'd want to track on a weekly basis that would result in you getting customers and making money. Okay? So if you don't track what you're up to, we can't measure it, we can't manage it. So if you say to me, Lloyd, I'm... I've been in isogenics. I've been doing this now with you in the business now for six months. I've only enrolled one person. Why? What's going on? I was like, well, send me your BAM tracker. He'd be like, why? Because because I want to know what work you did to deserve getting paid. And two things will happen. Either you'll send me this and it'll be quite blank and nothing on it, in which case it'll be obvious for us to see why you haven't got any customers. Well, the second one will be it will be full and you you will need some skill development. You, you There's something wrong with the sequence you're following. And we can just figure it out and solve it and then you'll be fine. Okay? So this is very important to have. So to, today's Side Hustle School, I'm going to teach you the five core building – well, actually, not all five, but four of the five core building activities. So they're in the red box here. So how many people have you added as friends? So how many connections have you made? And by the way, if you're brand new in this business, you don't have to make friend more contacts to do well. You've actually already got lots, which we're going to explain to you how to tap into those. So how to expand your network. The next one, um, how, have you, how many social media posts have you done? Meaning, tell me what you're advertising, right? No, in this business, you don't have to put a yellow pages ad together. And you don't have to do a television ad, and you don't have to do a radio ad, and you don't have to do letterbox drops, thankfully. But what you do have to do is advertise, and the most effective way of advertising is on the biggest bulletin board in the world. 
which is called Facebook. So you have to be posting. The third activity, how many reach outs or referral or direct asks have you done? Now, Gary's on the call. Uh, Gary Fabian here, you see he's brand new in the business. Well, he's not brand new to business, that's for sure, but he is brand new to our team. And I do see, I'm scary still there. He would be. Where is he? What's, what's reach out? Sorry. Wait, I'm going to explain this. I'll explain yes, to you what Gary's on. Out. Gary's on. Okay. So, Gary uh, used to work with my dad in the insurance business, and they would uh, they would have to go out and directly ask people if they want to buy insurance face to face, right? And you know, Gary was telling a story the other day that he he got forty eight people started in a single week from face to face direct asks, which is amazing. The reason I'm telling you that is because asking directly, having conversations with people. It doesn't matter if you were selling insurance in the 80s or 90s or whether you're selling nutrition in the 2024s. This is a must for marketing. Okay, we'll explain that. I'll come to this, Carlos. I'll answer your question as we move through. You're not supposed to know this, by the way, Carlo. Like, I'm just showing you what we're going to be learning. So if it doesn't make sense, you're in the right place. Okay. How many follow-ups have you done? How many follow-ups? People don't often buy on the first exposure. They need multiple exposures, okay? And then finally, how many invites have you sent to the upcoming event, which would be the Biohack Masterclass or any event that's coming up, physical event, online event, okay? So we might have time to do a little bit of this because we have that event coming up. We want to make sure you have people on. Now, have you seen the red box? They're called leading indicators. They, they indicate that you will get lagging indicators, Meaning if you focus on the leading ones, the inputs, the red box, they're inputs. Focus on the inputs, shovel the coal in the fire, the train starts moving. Right? Crack the egg, put the flour, swivel it in a bowl, boom, the cake is baked. So you must do these inputs to get the outputs. The outputs are in the green box. Customers and your customers enrolling other customers. Without the red box, the green box is impossible. So where would you want to focus? The red box or the green box? Red box. Red box. Buy only five activities every day. How many did you do Monday? How many did you do Tuesday? Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday? Okay, you get the picture. So activity one, growing your audience on the BAM tracker. And by the way, you'd want to definitely print the BAM tracker. Um, print it out and like... Put it, laminate it. Print it out and laminate it. And that way, when you're tracking, you're putting your pen to paper every week, you can wipe it off and do it again. And you should be in a position, after I teach you these activities this week and after we do the homework and after Side Hustle School, you should be in a position where if we're having a conversation together and you want some help, the very first thing I'll ask you is, where's your BAM tracker from last week? And you should be able to take a screenshot or a picture of it or send me something you did so we can start there. Otherwise, we have nothing to talk about because it's like, well, where are your chinks in your armor? Where are you? Where is the work not being done and what do you need help with? So I would really encourage you to print that out, have it laminated and put little strokes on it every week when you're doing activity. And if you're in a group with someone like Katrina Wood or Franny or Shay or whoever, Katie, you know, some of the people have been around a long time, you'll, you'll be able to compare your band tracker to their band tracker. And once uh, what happened to me was uh, the fastest million, one of the fastest millionaires in the company, while well, having a chat together, I was on a program like this, and I become you know friends with him, and he actually sent me uh, an uh, like a video, and the video was a recording of all the activities he was doing, and it was one of the greatest learning experiences I had because I realized very quickly that I was playing too small, I wasn't doing enough of them, I was doing the right activities which I'm going to teach you now, but I wasn't doing them at scale. I wasn't doing enough of the right things, okay? So it's about doing volume. So the first activity is growing your audience. Now, or you, your network, growing the connections. Now, how many of you have friends, more than 50 friends on Facebook? How many of you have more than 50 friends on Facebook? Claude, you got more than 50 friends on Facebook? Awesome. KDJ, yep, Gossia. All right, all right, cool. Donna, you have more than 50 friends on Facebook? How do you know? It should say how many friends you have on Facebook. Pull up your phone and go to friends. It should show you. But my question to you is, how did you make those friends? 
Just press Brand ask them. Ask them. Huh? Yeah. Huh? You want to be my best friend? Do karate in the garage? You ask them. Okay, so but how did you make those friends? How did you connect with them? Organically? What? But how organically? Just press okay. the button, add friend. So you can add friends online. So you pressed a few few buttons there and added them as friends. Yep, you can do that. So on your meet, at an event, meet. in person. Yep, at an event. family. Yep, for through family, at a wedding, at school, university, gym, netball, through other communities, online. Uh, Mark Zuckerberg online. recommended you. Yeah. Referrals, <laughs> selling coaching courses, cat. Meeting friends of friends, don't know most of them really. That's okay. You're going to learn how to get to know them in a minute, Gary. We're going to go do through that. All right. So that's cool. So you already, you guys already know how to grow your, your network. We don't need to train on this, do we? You're good, right? Not really. How many friends have you got? Not enough. But how many friends would you have? What, in life? Give me a number. A few hundred, a hundred or so, I don't know. Okay, cool. So you know how to make friends, right? Yeah. So you know the formula, but what you said is correct. You just need to do more of it. To expand your network, you must expand the activity that created the small network you have. You simply just expand the basics. So if you met them at events, go to more events. If you met them at netball, go do more... Go chat to more people at Netball. Go add yourself to the Netball Facebook group and add them all there. Right? I just I was in Service Paradise uh, on the weekend uh, at an event we were hosting. Last three days, we were at an event hosting an event. And it was not my turn to speak, so I had a bit of a break. So I went into Cavill Avenue. Anyone been to Cavill Avenue? Pretty epic. Or Gold Coast. Never was epic. Or was and it wasn't. Anyway. So I'm there, and it was a balmy night, and there's all these buskers in the street, and it's beautiful, and... Like, it was just a nice night. I was like, this is awesome. And the lights were shining. I was like, I've never seen Cavill Avenue, Cavill Avenue so inviting. It was beautiful. I'll show you the picture I took of it. Amazing. Look at that. It's a real photo. This is epic. Anyway, I took it and I posted it in the Service Paradise community group. I didn't even know there was a community group. I'm like, there must be a community group where I can show off my beautiful, sexy photo. I'm sure everyone else would like it too. So I went and popped it into the Service Paradise Facebook group. And guess how many people liked it? 262. <laughs> I think it's just over 100, but 262 would have been fun. Um, so 100. So then what did I do after that? Wrote messages to them, added them as friends. Yeah, yeah, I just went down and hit the blue button, add friend and said, hey, thanks for liking my post about Service Paradise. How long you lived here for? How long you been in the group for? Pretty simple, right? Anyway, <clears throat> so that's what we're going to learn how to do. So, Lloyd, I'm going to chuck one question at you. Sure. I haven't hit my 5,000 followers yet, but um, do you cycle through people? Do you chuck people out? Oh, yeah, your, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. And get and well, join my people up? It's a good question. I don't now, personally, because what on Facebook, what it allows to happen is more than 5,000 to follow you. So I only recycle through them if I hit my limit. And but I only if you've got a public account, yeah? Yeah, you, you're just a regular profile on Facebook. It doesn't have to be mm -hmm. yeah, public. Yeah, it has to be public. Like, people have to be able to find you. But I just have a regular profile, and I can you can have more than 5,000 followers, but you can only have 5,000 friends. So when I do hit my limit and it's annoying, I have to go and cull them. But I'll, I, I'll happily cull people that I know. It doesn't mean I'm not friends with them anymore. It just means that I, they're not... They're not um, in the specific in my circle of influence that I want. So I'm. Yeah, I'm, I totally understand. Yeah. yeah, you understand, right? So, so basically, on your social media, your Facebook and Instagram, and you can use this on LinkedIn or TikTok, whatever your jam is. But I think Facebook is a great place to just focus on and start and stay there if you if you just need to focus on one, which is easy. Um, you you it's like a it's like a cinema. And so, if if I post anything on my Facebook, I know there's a chance that over, no, not all 5,000 will see it. Maybe less than 5% will see it. Maybe 10%. So 
But I know that I've got these people, my 5,000 connections, I call them. not. You don't have to call them friends. I think that's probably not the right word. 5,000 connections. Some are friends, but mainly they're acquaintances and connections. So the whole idea is to have all these connections sitting in your audience. So let's say on Facebook, you can actually sit 5,000 there. And all like, you have to do is do what I did. You know, interact somewhere online and then add some people. Interact with something of common ground and add them. Go to netball and actually talk to people and add them. Alicia's really good at networking uh, organically face-to-face. -face. If you're a face-to-face -face networker, then, you know, she wherever she goes, she seems to meet someone nice and she builds some common ground and she chats away and then she'll go and add them later. And then one lady she met built some common ground and then invited to the movies with her other friends. And so that you can do that too. Um, th but objectively, you want to add them on social media. No matter where you find them, you want to hit the button and add them as a friend. So then you're algorithmically connected. Okay. So you expand your reach, establish authority, generate. So yeah, all these amazing things you can do on social media to grow an audience. Okay. So your audience and how big it is, is measured by how many friends you have on Facebook, how many followers and how many followers you have on Instagram. But of course, if you've got like a hundred Facebook friends and they're all like drug addicts, that's probably not a good idea to have to build a business. You'd want to push those types of people away that don't share the same values as you and add new friends who have similar goals, common interests, and so forth. They don't have to have the same interest in network marketing. They don't have to want to lose weight. They don't want to have to make money. That's not a good idea. Here's some examples. They would want to like netball like you. They would want to like personal development like you. They would want to be a teacher like you. They would want to be, right, um, I don't know, like fashion, like they would want to be beauty queens like you are, or they'd like to be, I don't know, um, in a mum in your town, right? So there has to be some kind of link or common ground there that's not isogenics, that's not money, that's not person, just something of interest. What is fascinating on the weekend too, is I learned this from my friend Morgan, he learned this from someone else, but one of the key networking one of the ninja skills of a networker is actually being able to identify the one thing that that person really likes that you can relate to that's nothing to do with their business. So here's an example. Um, Morgan used this example on the weekend. Um, people come to me and say, hey, Morgan, I love your podcast. I love your, um, your events. I love your podcast. Um you know, whatever it is about his business. He's like, oh, thanks, man. Cool. I appreciate it. He said that doesn't light him up. It does. He's like, oh, that's cool. But it doesn't get his attention. He said, if someone came to me and said, hey, Morgan, um, I know you're into skydiving, man. I just did my first jump. I'm into skydiving too. He'd go, oh my God. And he'll talk to them about skydiving all day long. So if you were someone who wanted to get close to someone like him, right, you'd talk about parachuting or skydiving. You wouldn't talk about their business. So find the thing the common ground thread. Like if someone came to me, like there's actually a guy that did it. He, he he actually came to me. I think he came to one of our webinars once. Anyway, I mentioned chess on the webinars. I was like, I'm playing chess and I love it. He listened to that. He added me on the chess app and he played me and then he gave me all these amazing tips and made me a better chess player. And now I've never forgotten him and I was playing him every so often and I, I gave him a tip to go build a, a chess um, ebook. You know, and start using that to help connect with other chess players. So he got my attention because he spoke about chess, not about, hey, Lloyd, love your podcast, love your book, love your business. It doesn't get their attention. Try and find something of common ground with someone that you love, right? Cats, like Alicia's all about, you know, sausage dogs. Just something, you know, that's the trick. And they're the types of people you want in your Facebook friends list. People who have common interests that you have. If you love going to bingo on Friday night, Go add all the flippin' bingo people in the world that play bingo on Friday night. Are you with me? If you love martial arts, go watch. add all the people who love martial arts, your specific martial art. It's a simpler way to build common ground. All right, cool. This is an organic building. So Facebook eyeballs and ears are there, 5.9 thousand friends. Um, and then when I started, though, I had like, I don't know, a few hundred. And then I had no followers on Instagram because I wasn't even on Instagram. So don't look at my page and go, yeah, but you've got 20,000 followers. I had none. The reason being is when I enrolled someone or Alicia enrolled someone, we could help them enroll their network. 
So in network marketing, it doesn't matter how big your audience is. We enrolled back in 2017. We enrolled. I found someone on a on a Facebook post. I reached out to her. She owned a gym in New Zealand. I said, hey, would you like to get on a call? I think we could do some collaborating here on some nutrition in your gym. She said, sounds good. Got on with her partner. We enrolled them in Isogenics. They loved the products. And then we showed them how to get all their gym started. And then over the course of a number of years, they had conversations with people. People, And then one of those people was Kylie and Aaron. Uh, it was actually, with Reese was Aaron's PT. And Kylie and Aaron came in to the business. They've enrolled tons of people. And in, in that process, they enrolled Sammy and Tommy, who won our side hustle school last time we ran it a few a month or two ago. So I I didn't know the person. I reached out and spoke to someone, had a conversation, they started, then they went and enrolled Aaron and Kylie. Kylie's on the call now. Then they off went and enrolled Sammy and Tommy. And Sammy and Tommy are enrolling other people right now as we speak. So did I need a big audience? No. How many people did I need? How many people did I need? One. This is why network marketing is not affiliate marketing. This is why network marketing is not e-commerce. This is why network marketing is not sales. It's networking. You, you connect with someone, they love the products, and you find them and help them find their friend who loves the products. It's one to one to one to one to one to one. Depth development. This is why you can scale to six figures part time. Everyone can invite one. So everyone can reach one. Everyone can reach one. Everyone can teach one. And everyone can bring one. How many of you can reach one person and share your story about the products or whatever it is you want to share? You can reach one person. Yep. How many of you could teach one person how to do that? By that, meaning how many, you, how many of you could bring someone to side us to school next time and get me to teach them? Great. So you can teach one. And how many of you could bring one to the Biohack Masterclass in a couple of weeks? Okay. It's just one. Just don't freak out. I need 50,000 people. No, you don't. You just need one. I told the story of my dad. For six years, he said no to the business opportunity. And then one day, I talked to him and said, hey, this is kind of like insurance where you write a policy and you get paid again and again and again. He's like, that sounds good. Come over to our house and explain the comp plan. So we did. And then he, I said, dad, you just need to find one. So he found this lady in the Netherlands on LinkedIn. My dad on LinkedIn. He doesn't even have to turn a computer on. So he said, go talk to my son. So I had a conversation with her. She comes in. I said, yeah, just go and watch this video and start. And she did. She lost 20 kilos. And then she gone, She went and found someone. Then that person found someone. That person found someone. All in the Netherlands, in Europe. And then through one to one to one to one, they brought in about 6,000 customers. My dad's made hundreds of thousands in this bit doing this. Part doesn't even work that much at it. Right? One. So how many of you can get one? Wonderful. But how many do you need to graduate from side hustle school? Two. So let's focus on one for now. All right, I just wanted to explain that to you. We're going to get things moving here. Or we're going to be here all night. All right. So that's that's finding the one is easier when you post things on a bulletin board where the people you know in your circle of influence are actually what seeing you. Now, if you don't have a, a big circle, you don't have a lot of people you can talk to to find the one, then add more people. Make more friends. Talk to more people, right? Talk to them on social media about, not about this, to connect with people, talk about something of interest. Just trying to build some common ground, some rapport, right? So here's how you grow your audience. You go to uh, suggested, so you go to uh, friend requests or suggested friends on Facebook. So Mark Zuckerberg's already set it up on Facebook. It says suggested friends. You'll always have a common interest, okay, suggested friends. You click the blue button there that says add friend. Now it's better if you think, think of this as a connection. Add connection, add connection. People get all messed up psychologically, like, but they're not my friend. I was like, no, I know that, but they're just a connection. Just hit the blue button for goodness sake and get over it. Bang, 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 bang. Then people say, well, Lloyd, how do I track them all? You don't track them all. Why would you want to be friends with someone who doesn't 
reciprocate and want to be friends with you and accept the friend request. So you only then start talking to people who have accepted it. So if I send a, a message to Michelle, well, certainly I would send one to Laura, right? If I send a message to Laura and she accepted, I say, hey, Laura, great to be connected here. I can see she's friends with my friend Jess. I see we've both got a connection in Jess. How do you know her? Simple, done. I've made the connection. You with me? You can post and engage on Facebook groups. I gave the example just earlier about how I did that by walking in Surface Paradise, taking a photo, and I put it in the group. I didn't even know there was a group. Boom. Then I've got all these people going, that's a cool photo, man. I'm chatting with him in the comments, banging out the blue button. Friend request, uh, yeah, friend request a Facebook group connection, which I did. Comment on other people's posts. I know you, most of us are stalkers. We're sitting there on social media watching and watching and watching and stalking people. You're not interacting. How do I know that? Because sometimes I bump into people and they say, Lloyd, I love, um, I love watching on social media. It's so good. I'm like, yeah, but you haven't ever like given a heart to my photo or even commented. So can you do that? Like, so people are watching, but they're not engaging. So if you're watching and not engaging, you're one of those weirdos. Please stop being a stalker. It's weird. Start commenting and engaging. The, go, start engaging with the world. They're waiting for you to engage the world. People are waiting for you to go first. Start interacting. Comment, post, go for it. Collaborate with others. Some of you could get on a Facebook Live. Some of you could get on a call together, share a story together. Some of you could share each other's stories, physical product transformation stories, biosogenics. You could share each other's income stories. You can collaborate on an event together. You can do all sorts of things. Create shareable content. Obviously, create in interesting content. Post it, right? It, you'll, be, you'll be mesmerized and shocked as to what people love. Is there it okay, a Lloyd, if I share something super quick? Yeah. Just on that. I had a lady that went right through my Facebook page. She was trying to find this system that I own. She was stalking me. I'd done a live. She stalked that person. She was going right through and yet she didn't come and ask me what the system was that I was using until I happened to get to her and said, oh, hey, girl, do you know anyone who might be, you know, looking to tone up, lose weight, da, da. And she's like, oh, my God, I went all through your feed trying to find it. Like, why didn't she just ask me? People are stalking you. They're just waiting they for totally us to are. ask them. Yep, they are waiting. They're waiting for us to engage them. That's a really good example. Yep, totally true. Cool. Meet people offline and add them online. So people are like, Lloyd, I'm just not a social media person. I'm the, I'm I'm just a... A face to face. This is how I am. This is how some people are. Right? They're so precious about the way they meet people, and I get it. You're allowed to be. It's your style, and I'm not going to try and steal it. I love meeting people face to face too. Right? But what I'm really good at is when I meet him face to face, add him online. I was on a plane flight with a guy, connected with him. Like great guy. I said, "Hey man, are you on Instagram?" He's like, "Yeah." I'm like, "Let's connect." Cool. Boom, boom. I've done that so all the time. I connected with another guy. I sent him to a church here locally. I said, man, go check out this church. He went there. He's like, Lloyd, I loved it. So I met him on a plane, connected on Instagram and sent him to church. <laughs> and, and, and we're connected now. So he sees my stuff, but it's not going to work if you connect with. So I love connecting with people. I'm like, did you add them? No. Then what, what, how can you continue the relationship and conversation? You need to add them algorithmically. Don't get their email address. Don't get their phone number. Just say, Hey, are you on Instagram? Hey, are you on Facebook? Let's connect. Paid ads, okay, if you if you want to get into the world of paid ads, you can put an ad up, boost it, get people engaging you. But if you're not going to engage them and talk to them and get over yourself, paid ads aren't going to help you. And, of course, if you can go and speak at, you know, if you go to Toastmasters, if you go to other events um, and engage in the event, right? Like, I remember I was going to a Gary Vaynerchuk event. And you can go to Gary Vaynerchuk events for, like, you know, 80 bucks or 70 bucks, 60 bucks cheap. And I went in, into the event. I think there was an event. There was an event Facebook ad. And I saw all these people commenting, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. So I went and added them all as friends. And I DM'd them all and said, hey, I saw you going to the Gary Vaynerchuk event. How long have you been following him for? Hey, you're going to the Gary Vaynerchuk event. Have you read his first book, um, Crush It? Hey, you're going to the Gary Vaynerchuk event. Um, are you going there to network or learn marketing? So I went in and I went to the event. I started Messaging these people when I was there. Hey, hey man, I'm at the coffee thing. You want to catch up? This is how you engage the world. You've got to go for it. <clears throat> now, when you, this is how you build your audience. This is how you build your network, your connections. It's just talking. People get scared to stiff and they don't do this because 
They think they've got to sell stuff. No, I'm not talking about selling stuff yet. This is just connecting. Long time ago, when we had our little dog, Chili, we, when we first came back to the Gold Coast from Dubai, we didn't know anyone. Well, Alicia didn't know anyone here. She grew up in Dubai. So she said, oh, I love sausage dogs. There's a sausage dog meetup coming up. Let's go to it and let's start talking to people in the meetup. And then there's a group. Then we added them all in the meetup group. Then we found out one of them lived on the same street as us. So we went over to a house and then she enrolled in isogenics. Go out to the world and do your thing. All right. Now, once you've done that and you're building your audience, the rest is pretty much easy. Okay. It's pretty simple, I should say. What doesn't make it easy is that it requires your attention and effort. Posting and engaging. This is um, advertising. All businesses will die if you do not advertise. So if you're not advertising, this is probably why you're dying in business. When I say post, I mean advertise. Advertising is putting things up on a bulletin board or on TV or, you know, letterbox drop or radio. That's advertising. But guess what? That's shitty advertising. So we do good advertising. Good advertising is where people's attention is, which is right there. All day, every day, for 10 hours, they're staring at a screen. So why would we put why would we put things up anywhere but there? So social media is where they're spending most of their time. So right now, all we'll be doing is posting on social media organically. Social media, Facebook, Instagram, so forth. The reason being is because it's how you can grow your audience more. You can nurture the audience you're adding. So people have got something interesting to watch. There'd be nothing worse if someone came to your feed and all they saw was you resharing some weird content from YouTube about... I don't know, bird watching, unless you had a bird watching audience, just some weird stuff, right? Spammy junk on your Facebook. If that's there, it's not, it's not going to work. So you, there's posts that grow your audience. There's posts that nurture your audience and posts that sell, right? So here's what to post on social media. There's a specific style. It's called results, value, lifestyle. So if you're like, what do I post on social media? Well, Firstly, you post your results from using the products, right? So um, the other day, so Padma's been in using the products for probably almost a month, uh, maybe three weeks, right? A month now. A month. Okay, a month. And so when you had started started on the products a month ago and started, um, you said, Lloyd, what do I do now? I'm like, man, you just do results value lifestyle, which is, hey, just start sharing your little bit of results you've had. Little did I know that he had the most insane results in week one I've probably ever seen in the last 10 years. But I said, hey, just pop that on social media and say, hey, loving this program. It's working really well. And it was obvious that it was working for him. And you've done that a few times now, right? Yeah. I said the third one an hour ago. Right. So you've posted a few little results posts on your feed so far. Yeah. And what happened when you did that? I've got lots of messages, lots right. of it lots of leanings. Yeah. A lot of people think I'm faking it using AI, but I'm not. Yep, cool. <laughs> we'll let them we'll let them think that for a while, but that's okay. So they're really interested, right? Yeah. So right now you haven't you haven't like sold anything, you haven't done no. selling stuff, nothing. No. So what you're saying is you've got people who are starving and begging you to tell them what you're doing. Yeah. Okay, cool. How many of you yeah. want to how, how many of you want people begging begging to find out what you got? Right. So if you leak out your results, I don't care if it's one kilo. I don't care if it's just more energy. There must be a result you're getting from the products. And if you're not, my bottom dollar is you're not using them right. So start using the products how they're supposed to be used, following the guides section from the very first setup orientation video, and put them in place and do it properly. And you'll start to see results. And it'll only take not long, right? And then when you go, when you like go, whoa, like if you had this, wow, that moment, that tr that in your mind, like, oh, shit, look at that. That's what you post. That's what you share. It doesn't have to be a photo of you in a bikini, especially if you're a bloke. It just has to be a f one sentence like, oh, my God, the scales actually went down today. I love this program. In fact, if you go to the social media, uh, if you go to eforfreeclub.info to the, to the, I think it's step three which is start posting on social media, there's like 10 examples of what you can, there's just 10 simple examples to follow. That's results. Then you post value. What's value? Some information, something someone can learn learn from. Yeah, yeah, some information, um, something, something, you've, something you've found valuable. 
right? So like the other day when I posted that thing in Surface Paradise, that photo, that's value. If that's a cool photo, maybe the Surface Paradise Facebook group would enjoy this. And they did. So whatever it is, something of value it doesn't have to be related to the products. It just has to be something of value, something that you find valuable. I find lots of valuable stuff on X and I just copy, paste it and post it on my other platforms. I find stuff of value everywhere and I share it. Then, of course, lifestyle. We need to see what you're up to in your life. So tell us what, show us what you're up to. If you're with your family, take a selfie. Put it, post it. If you're with your kids, post it. If you're with, um, you're going to an event, you're, you're, whatever, just your life. You're on the way to work. Just tell us what you're up to. Just showcase what you're doing and document your lifestyle. Just, it tells us you're a real person and not AI. So results, value, lifestyle. And some of you might be thinking, well, how many results posts? How many value posts? Just do one, one to two posts a day and mix it up. You can't get it wrong, guys. Don't worry. If you just posted, like I remember, you know the lady that uh, my dad enrolled, Susan from the Netherlands, who enrolled 6,000 people? You, like, are you back, not now, but if you go to a, yeah, maybe now even. I used to go to her feed and all you would see is just the same before and after photo of hers that she just kept posting, posting, posting. So what she would do is, she would just go and add all these new friends. She'd meet, she'd just meet people everywhere and they'd come to her because she, she learned through us how to connect with them on Facebook. So she would just build this massive audience of people she just met everyday life. And because she kept posting the same before and after photo of hers every day, every day, all these new people would just see that and they'd just all lean in and get started. So she didn't even do any value posts. She didn't even do many, that many lifestyle posts. Her whole feed was just literally her story and her results about her products. That's it. She was just an expert in her own experience. She was an expert in her own journey. And it was phenomenal. She just enrolled so many people and still, like to this day, I think if you go to her Facebook, it's probably the same, but, but it's just results, 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 results. You could do that too. I don't think you can overshare results as long as it's, you know, it's a bit of thought behind it, but results value lifestyle. That's how you post on social media, okay? To start with, what not to post on social media? Um, my dad here's an example. He shared, put Katrina did a post, and he clicked the share button and shared it. Now there's nothing actually wrong with that, but when you share content from other people's feeds to yours, it looks spammy, and the algorithm actually thinks it's spammy. So I wouldn't hit the share button and share things. I would literally just um, repost it somehow, right? Don't copy it word for word, but Copy some of it, re remodel a bit, and then post it yourself if you like it, right? Um, DM me to this type of stuff. This weird, like, posters here, like, big, like, this. If it looks gross and salesy and all these emojis, don't post it. Multiple photos, you see this a lot, like, multiple before and after photos. No, just use one. This type of stuff, these bundle, look at this. This here, posting like this is like going on a first date getting to the table and dropping your pants and saying, let's do this. That's what it's like. They're selling publicly in a terrible way. This is the worst way you could possibly sell here, right here. This is what gives network marketing a bad name. People that don't know how to do marketing. You've seen this too before, right? How many of you have seen someone at the traffic lights going up with a big sign saying, praise Jesus. Jesus is the way. Jesus is the light of the light. Jesus, you must find Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's seen that before? Great. I love Jesus, great message. I'm all for it. Shitty marketing. He didn't do that because he's a smart he was a smart dude. He did it way better. He told he you know how Jesus marketed Jesus in the Christian message? He went and had tea with them. Yeah, he just went out and had dinner with people. And drank wine. He didn't po he didn't right? This is terrible marketing. Nothing wrong with great, you know, good messages, but there is when you you have a terrible way of marketing them and this is a terrible way this is it this is like the big jesus sign yeah i gotta talk our stuff no people will run away from that you're better off to put a photo of you like this saying hey i just tried this program these are my results it's amazing if you want some information on it i'm running a little webinar or friends wanting a webinar next week just comment me below and i'll send the link that's better right or have a private conversation with them saying hey this is my photo do you know anyone wants to like do this uh me right even the guy, I'll give you an example. Like, Lloyd, that's all makes sense. Here, like, you might be thinking, well, how do you give a good Jesus message? Well, I'm on the plane with this guy. He's a tattooed neck, 
right? It's just this guy was not a, a welcoming dude. We connected on business. We connected on common ground. And then he brings up that he's just discovered Christianity for the first time. Like, oh, man, you got to go to this cool church. So I'm actually selling by referring him to go to an event at church. So I, I actually, th these skills you'll learn here doing this, sending people places to get, so the invitation to the destination where they get the information, this is how you do marketing everywhere. When people come to me and ask me about financial help, I also do it there. I say, hey, great question. To go check out my book, it's over there, or go check out my podcast, here's what you'll learn. I'm always sending them to the destination to get the information. Whether it's trying to you know, help them in their life by sending them to church, whether it's trying to help them with their nutrition, sending them to isogenics, trying to help them in their finances, sending them to my podcast, any of our events, any of our webinars, they're all in place so I can send people places. I'm never having to do this, or this, or this, or this. I'm just trying to cultivate and grow and nurture an audience where people like what I post. And if they like it enough and I'm chatting with them and they need some help with something, ask some questions, I send them places to get the information. Are you with me? Hands up if you're with me. Wonderful. So grow, nurture, and so here we go, ready? This is how you engage on social media, right? Comment on other people's posts with something valuable, not just an emoji. Reply to someone's story. So I do this, especially with like big hitters too. I'll always put a, 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 I actually reply in the stories feature on Inst on Facebook and Instagram. I actually go into their stories and actually put comments. And they get it straight sent to their inbox. It's right in there. So this is, this is how to give value, guys. My dad's really good at this. He gives so much value. You've never seen, who's ever seen my dad post a before and after photo with a fat gut, skinny gut? Ever. Never. He's never posted his own story of our things ever. Now, I'm not suggesting you don't do that, but you he didn't. But what he's great at, he's great at connecting with people, and he's great at giving value. So when the time comes when they need to get some results, he's like, oh, yeah, you should try this isogenic stuff. Go to this group. Go talk to my son, right? Whatever. So con he comments on people's... He he leaves engaging comments. He posts stuff. He, he engages in the comments a lot. He's everywhere. Run polls and quizzes on your stories. Go live and engage with your viewers. Message all your new friends and say, hey, thanks for the follow. What brings you to my neck of the woods? If people follow you, go engage them. If someone follows me on Instagram, that's what they're getting. They all get this. Hey, actually, they get a video now. Hey, thanks for following me. What's up? I can help you with this, this, this. Which one's more interesting to you? They comment. Message people in Facebook groups. Hey, thanks for liking my picture about Surface Paradise. Loved it. How long have you been in Surface for? How long, is this big, how long has this group been around for? I just discovered it. That's, and I'm sending the same message to all those people. It's all good, right? You with me? You good? Engage, engage. Okay, activity three. We're almost finished. <clears throat> Ask the question. This is critical. This is going to answer Carlo's question. So if you're building this, if you're connecting with new people, you're building this audience, and you're, co you're talking to them, you're, you're chatting with them, you're engaging with them, right? Awesome. Then it comes time to, hey, maybe I should ask them the question and to start talking about isogenics. Now we've built some common ground and some rapport. So <clears throat> here's how to do this. I'm just going to pull up this drawing here. This is from Alex Hormozzi. How many of you know who Alex Hormozzi is? Who is he, Franny? Business guru. Yeah, he's a business guru that uh, made $100 million in his early 30s, and now he's written some of the best business books in the world. And he's a big deal, and he's probably going to be a billionaire. Um. Anyway, so in his book, uh, Leads, $100 million Leads, this is his photo. He said there's the core four for generating organic, uh, generating leads. Warm outreach. So let me just do this actually in a different color. Warm outreach. Posting content to get people to engage in it and say, hey, I'm interested in what you've got. Um, um, and then there's cold outreach. And then there's paid ads. Okay. So what do you think is the easiest out of these four? Warm? Yes, warm outreach, right? It's when you tell people who already know you and like and trust you about your stuff. Warm outreach. There's a warm connection and you're actually engaging them to say, hey, I need you to know about this stuff. Posting free content, if you post a certain type of post 
like like Padma did with his results. He had people, he was telling them about his stuff without giving away the complete secret. So he said like, week one after my program, these are my results. That's him telling people about his thing. Because he posted that content, they started engaging him and asking him for it. And he can go through his whole Facebook friends list now and actually also message him and say, hey, not sure if you're still on my Facebook, but I just started this program. I've got some pretty cool results. Do you know anyone who wants to get shredded up like I am? That's it. So he can just do these two, right? Cold outreach doesn't actually exist because if you're talking to cold people, your job is to warm them up and put them here. Paid ads is really good. It's just, a, it's just an extreme example of this. But if you cannot post content like what Padma has been doing, if you cannot post that on your social media now and get people leaning in, you have no business running Facebook ads. You have no business running paid ads. Because if you can't get people leaning in on organic stuff, you're never going to be able to do a good ad copy. You're going to waste a lot of money. So actually doing these two things, network marketing and getting good at them is a very good idea. Okay. Now what else is cool about that's you getting this when you tell people about your stuff. You gotta tell people about your stuff. They're not gonna know. Like what Franny said. This chick was waiting for me to tell her what I was doing. Great. Glad she glad Franny reached out. What if she never did? She wouldn't have a customer. Then you've got the second type of way to get people. This is when others tell people about your stuff. They're called lead getters. So other customers who have had great results, right? So when Sue came into Silas School, she got great results and she had this cool photo she posted this week in one of our groups about her belt. She lost some notches in her belt. I was like, that's awesome, Sue. You should post that. You should use that. And no doubt she's been doing that. When she gets her next customer, this is me with a successful customer in Sue teaching her to maybe do, use this photo and talk to some people and Get, get some customers. She's enrolled people. They're also my customers. So Sue has been able to develop customers. She's also an affiliate for us, so she gets paid when she finds customers. Same as all of you, now you're an associate. Now you're an associate, you can go and get customers. So all of you guys can find customers. You can also develop affiliates and associates by bringing them to side hustle school. You can teach them to go get customers and they'll get paid when they get customers, right? Forget about these ones. Your customers, your, your other associates in your team who want the business opportunity, and even just your, I don't know, friends and family who aren't even customers, they might know people too. But it's when people find people for you. Does that make sense? So with that said, how do you actually ask people? Well, here's a simple way of having the conversation. You go to birthdays in your Facebook, just type in birthdays, and then all, all your friends' birthdays for the week will come up. Bop, 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 bop. And every day, every day, you send them your little birthday video like this. Hey, legend, what's up? Just wanted to shoot you a quick message and wish you a happy birthday. Hope you're having a great day, great week, birth month. <laughs> and uh, yeah, just want to shoot this quick video and uh, give you a little gift if I can. So obviously I read a lot of books. And so the best book I've read that I'm going to recommend you read this year too is my favorite of the year, which is... How many of you want to know the book? Okay. Yeah, I'd like to know. Well, I'm sure you would. And I'm sure that's why you could do the same thing in your birthday messages. So if you um, do this homework task for this week, I'll share the book with you next week. So here's what you do. You 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 can, you can record a little video and just say, hey, happy birthday. Um, here's a tip for you. Here's a gift for you. Here's something I can recommend. I just want to give you that gift. So I always send that in a video. I send the video first every day. And then underneath that, it says, hey, it's your birth week. I'm, I'm just, just curious. If you could have one breakthrough in any of your life this year, what would it be, health or financial? So I send the video so it's value. And then I ask them a question. And they come back and say, health. Then what do I do? Follow the steps in the Eat for Free Club. Well, they'll say health, and I say, well, what, yeah, what, what do you want to achieve in your health? They say, oh, I want to lose some weight. Cool. How much? Awesome. I, can, I might share my photo then, right? Following the steps in the Eat for Free Club. I might share my photo and say, oh, just like this. Yeah, yeah it's exactly what I want. Awesome. Now, here's the thing. I haven't sold yet. I'm just connecting. I'm just finding out. Do you, you want a financial breakthrough or a health breakthrough? If they say health, 
and I'm there and I'm chatting with them, I've got their goals, I don't sell yet. What I do is take note of who it is, I put it on a hot prospect list, and we're running a biohack masterclass. Guess who's getting an invitation? Them. If they say financial, I say, cool, I've got a podcast that helps that. Would you like a link to it? It's free. They say, yep, I send the link to the podcast. I say, I've also got a book. Do you want a link to that? Yes, I know. You don't have to have any of that. You could just say, you could use mine if you wanted. And then when I say, hey, what would be your financial breakthrough you want to have? They say, oh, I want to make more money. I'm like, cool, why? And they tell me. I say, oh, that's awesome. And then the kind of conversation just dies off. But guess who's taken note of that and put their name on a list? Moi. So when we're running a Shake Up Your Finances Masterclass to teach people how to make more money, guess who's getting an invitation? Them. Do you see how simple this business is? I haven't sold yet. I've sold nothing yet. I've not done one selling anything yet. All I've done is add an audience, engage them and ask the question by sending them something of value and asking if they want to have a breakthrough in health or financial, and they're telling me. And then I'm asking him a few more questions, maybe sharing my story that you'll learn how to do next week. And that's all I've done. And then even when I do want to sell to them, I don't sell. What do I do? Add them to the Rediscover You info page. Yeah, or I invite them to the webinar, like I just said. Same thing. I either invite them to the live one or the recording. So I send them the invitation to the destination where they can get the information. Right? So if you really want to actually ask them specifically, here's how you do it. You say, hey, if there was a way where you could actually lose five, six, or get that goal you wanted to in the next 30 days, um, would that help? Would that be a value? Yes, great. Would you be okay if I add you to this Facebook group and show you where you find some information on it? Yes, please. Done. Voila. You've become a selling master. And I bet it's nothing like you thought it would be. This is true marketing and true selling. It's question after question after question, and then it's invitation to the destination where they can get the information. And then it's following them up, and you're done. And you've got to be okay then when they say, no, I'm not interested. Cool. But you've done your job. <clears throat> so what's cool about this is you can message all of your Facebook friends on Facebook asking this one message. How many of you, if there was a way to send one well-crafted message a very short one that you could copy and send it to every single one of your entire Facebook friends list this week and have them leaning in and telling you if they want help or not. And you could never be rejected from the message. How many of you would like that? Okay. You ready to see it? You can send this to every single person on your Facebook friends list. Hey Tam, you may have seen from my, you may or may not have seen from my profile. I've been helping people too. Wait, this is not it. This is the direct one. Is it? Oh no, here we go. It's not my bad. Hey Tam, as you may have seen from my profile, I've been helping people too. Insert what you do, right? To lose weight. I know it may not be for you. But do you know anyone who wants to get in shape for summer, lose weight, get in skinny jeans, right? No worries if not, just thought I'd ask. Okay, so Padma might do it this way. Hey, Tam, um, you may not may not have seen from my profile, I just used this program, I've lost some, I've got in great shape. I know it may not be for you, but curiously, do you know anyone who's looking to get in shape? No worries if not, just thought I'd ask. Hey Jenny, I'm not sure if you saw, but I just lost a few notches in my belt with this new program I'm following. It's super simple. I know it may not be for you, but curiously, do you know anyone who's looking to lose a few notches in their belt this summer, this season, whatever, this month? No worries if not, just thought I'd ask. Does that make sense? What's, where's the magic in that message? Well, they're not going to feel uncomfortable or forced or pushed or... Yes, why not? Because it's not a direct ask. It's not a direct sale or anything like that. You're just opening up space to speak. And um, like the, the thing about like, if not you, any friends, it's yes. just 
you're asking for it's much a, more pleasant to the ears or to yeah, the yeah, eyes. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, it's it's more pleasant. It's that they, you're giving them a, a an out. Yeah. So they're waiting for you to hit. They're waiting for you to hit them with the sale. The the direct ask, like, hey, do you want it? You interested in this? And they never get it. And that's 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 softening on their ears. It's beautiful for that. Oh, thank God. And so you can't get rejected. Sometimes you get a narcissist say, "No, it's not for me." And you're like, "You're a narcissist. Nothing's always about. Not, not everything's about you." I actually asked if you knew anyone, and that's when you delete that person and never speak to them again. So um, that message I've been using for well, Alicia and I've been using for ten years. It doesn't change. It's so interesting. Like it just doesn't change. If I was going to be doing outreach to you know in building mode, oh, well, we've sat with our Facebook friends list that we printed out heaps of times at this table here. And we'd get up and we just hit them with that message. And we'd always get enrollments. Always. Especially, always. Especially when you're posting a lot. So if your posting is on point and you use that message, you're going to get tons of people started, right? Tons. So I just wanted to, I just want you to know how simple this business is. I've show, we've now showed you literally just in the last hour and a bit. Shit, I'm way over time. Um, just showed you here. All you need to make a million dollars. You have to understand this. But you, your brain is so complex that you're now already thinking of ways. It's already starting to deceive you. It's already saying to you, oh, yeah, but you don't know enough people. It's already saying to you, yeah, well, what if I send it and my people I know are just going to say no? I don't have any interests. I live in a small town. Your brain is deceiving you already. It's just all rubbish. What you don't realize is that people that make lots of money, they have a very simple selling process with simple words, usually one sentences or simple questions. And all they do is repeat that for the rest of their life and make a shit ton of money. Building big businesses is not about complexity. It's about finding simple ways to get people to know you, who you are, which is building an audience on social media for free from your phone, which using the results value lifestyle and connecting with friends, pretty simple to do. You can do it in your undies while you're on the toilet every single day. It's fine, right? You can do it. Then it's a matter of actually posting things that they want to see. And posting stuff is simple. If you want help on what to post, go to the po social media posting guide that's in the Eat for Free Club link. Click on it, open it, and just copy and paste it. It's all there. There's tons of great posts you can copy and paste. Go for it. There's it, there's enough posts on there to last you for five years. You have no excuse as to why you can't post anything. It's there for you. We built it for you so you can use it. Post it every day. That's your advertising done. Then print out your Facebook friends list and actually send them the message I just shared with you. And if you want to hear it again, go back and listen to this replay and just sit down and write it out. Then send it. And save it in your notes section and send it again and again and again and again for the next 45 years. It's never going to change. There is going to be no other way to do this. You're always going to have to find someone to talk to. You're always going to be able to have to share your story or post something to get them to see something. And you're, you're always going to have to ask them if they know someone who. Forever. That's it. You're now equipped. You've been anointed. The reason why people don't do it is because they're scared shitless. They're scared of their own goddamn shadow, for goodness sake. Because they think they're going to live forever. And you're not. In the next 30, 40 years are going to go pretty quick and then we're all going to die. So now would be a good time to get off your arse and implement these ninja skills and start making some money to go live and live your ideal life. Start traveling more. Start winning trips with arsogenics. Start leveling up. Start, start... I don't know, giving back to the world. Start being a person of value. Start becoming a key person of influence. Start being invited to cool parties. Start holidaying more. Start creating your own Monday. Start Just start doing something, getting out of the matrix, growing yourself. You're now equipped. And I can't do it for you. We did it. That's how we did it. Right? Okay, here we go. Here's what we're going to do. Uh, look, there's other ways to do this too. Uh, I'm going to go into too much detail here, but people who like your posts, so if you do a post and they like it, 
There's 105 comments here on Sue's post. Um, go and engage them, guys. Hey, thanks for liking my com uh, liking, commenting about my post about how I did this. I know it may not be for you, but do you know anyone who? Referral ask. Looks familiar, right? You can do a direct ask, like what Padma said. Hey, Alicia, thanks for the follow. Great to be connected here on Instagram. I'm actually running a live masterclass next week on the 10 ways to earn passive income. It's free. Would you like the link to register? If not, no worries. Or, hey, um, uh, Padma will be like, hey, thanks for in, uh, engaging my post about how I got shredded in the last month. I'm actually, uh, my friend who got me started running a biohack masterclass uh, in three weeks on this, just to explain exactly the details. Just curious, would you like the link to register? No worries, if not. That's a direct ask. Would you like me to add you to the Facebook group and tag you in the information? No worries if not, just that I'd ask. So it's where you're directly asking if they want the invitation to the destination where they can get the information. Does that make sense? Send them the invitation to the destination where they can receive the information. Okay? That's what you're, that's what you're trying to do. That's what you're trying to do. Now, anyone who leans in, this is really important. Anyone who leans in is interested, who has shown interest, at some point or any point, all you have to do is track them. And how you do that is you put in your notes section of your phone, you put it in the notes, hot prospects. Like It looks like this. It's pretty simple. Hot prospects. And then you just list them. Look, this is a real life example of some of mine, right? Look, I put thing. I sent Matt Perry the enrollment link. Mary Bacon, she's got a link. Josh James, he's keen. Haven't sent him anything yet. Billy's keen. Naomi sent the info link. So I've sent the info link, the enrollment link, the info link. So I'll just tell them where they're at. t short it was till it said it was too expensive. So maybe if there's a promotion that comes out where it's 10% off, I might hit her up again. Shelly Bray, she's saving up to get a pack. So I'm, I'm running a list. Like you've got to run a list of all the people who are interested, right? And your list might grow to 5,000. It's called building your pipeline. If you ever know how to enroll lots of people consistently, you've got to build your pipeline over time. But when you first start out, Right, you don't have a pipeline of people who are interested because you haven't asked anyone. Because you haven't done any flipping work yet, because you're still learning, just now learning the skills. So when you, if you're new, you, you're going to have to build a pipeline of people who are interested. They haven't started yet, but they're interested, and that's the list you build in the notes section of your phone to start with. You can build an email list later, of course. We'll get to that later. That's a that's an advanced training, but just in the notes section, I've never found a better CRM system for network marketing than the notes section of my phone. It says hot prospects. Whenever someone shows interest in me, I put them on the goddamn list and I just find out until they start. High tech, high tech CRM system. Okay. Follow up. So we're going to cover this more next week. Um, so I'm not going to dive into this. We're going to dive into this next week. Okay. <clears throat> so, um, God, I went really over time today, didn't I? Alicia. Well, I didn't intend to. There's a lot to teach. What I wanted, what we wanted to do today was equip you with skills and tactics to actually now unleash you onto the world. Like now you have it. I know it's so simple, isn't it? You're thinking, no, surely there's more to this, Lloyd. No, there's not. So let's do this. Um, normally we do a breakout. I'm sorry, we just probably don't have enough time. I want to get you guys to get off soon. So, because you probably your eyeballs are probably bleeding. So, um, would it be okay if we just did the homework task and then did some takeaways and close the call? And I promise next week there's not as much content next week, so we can do breakouts. We have to do breakouts to get to know each other. So here's the homework. Pay close attention. <clears throat> Task number one: Follow step three on the eatforfreeclub.info link to post each day on social media for the next seven days. Just seven days. Post every day for seven days, okay? Number two, print out your Facebook friends list. You'll be happy to know that Alicia did an amazingly simple video on exactly how to do that, down to a T. So she's gonna post this in the home, she's gonna post the link to that video in the homework tasks. You can watch it. Your job is to fit, print that Facebook friends list out. These are all your warm connections, okay? Homework task number three, make five new connections each day for the next seven days. Now, if you're someone who's introverted and you're freaking out about that already, okay, please don't. It could be as simple as you literally hitting the connect button on Facebook five times every day for the next seven days. But if you're someone like Franny who like just goes around the world and just people that are attracted to her energy wherever she goes and she meets people on the street and just, I don't know, 
It's just wild. Then she would probably challenge herself to do five face to face connections each day for the next seven. I don't know, whatever she wants to do, right? Up to you how you want to do it. Five new connections. They have to be connected with you algorithmically. So if you meet them offline, add them online. If you meet them online, add them and talk to them in the DMs a bit. You're not trying to sell, you're just trying to connect. Number four, do three reach outs per day for the next seven days. So when you get your Facebook friends list, start from A and go down the list and just use that referral ask message that you cannot be rejected from. And all you're gonna do is, is send three of them per day for the next seven days, okay? That's the, that's the homework task for this week. This is where the rubber meets the road. If you came into Side Hustle School to learn how to make money, here's your chance. It's not gonna get any easier than this. This is it, this is the week. If you do this homework task properly this week and you rip the band-aid off this thing and get after it and get over yourself, you're gonna do fine. In all areas, probably in all areas of your ice rest year, the rest of the years, you can do it. But if you, if you wuss out this week, because you let your brain deceive you, then you're gonna to have to come back to Side Hustle School next time we do this and you're gonna have the same lesson. And I'm gonna say the same thing. So you can keep coming back every time we do this for the next 10 years if you want, but it will always be the same. So now it's up to you. Take these skills you just learned and execute, okay? Homework post one, are these results post or combo? Combination omelet. Results, value, lifestyle. For you veterans out there, Amplify your posting this week. Get after it. Big, 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 big. By the time we run the Biohack Masterclass that's coming up, you'll want lots of prospects and people interested who are ready to come to it. But they're not going to be ready if you haven't added people, if you haven't posted about your journey and documented it, like what Padma is doing. If you haven't done that, or like what Sue's doing, or if you haven't directly asked people or printed out your Facebook friends list, you're going to wonder, like, what, why, I, why don't I have money in my account yet? Because you're not doing the leading indicators to get it. You've up your posting and got crickets, then change your posting, change your audience, add more, do direct reach outs, try some paid ads, keep going, host an event, change your audience, change your connections, change your network, change your strategy, change the inputs, change the outputs. I don't have an answer. Keep going. It'll come together. Have faith. All right. That's enough for me. Thank God. Probably sick of listening to me. So uh, you guys get value from today's call. How many of you got value? Okay, so a few of you didn't. Okay, I'm sorry. I was trying to be super valuable. So let me ask you this. Um, what were the key takeaways from today's call? Let's get five or six shout outs to wind the call up. 10 you. times. Say again? 10 times. 10 times, like 10x your activity? Yeah, 10x. Nice, love it. 10x, man. You bet. What else? Filling the cinema. Yeah, fill the cinema. Fill it. You get them in there. Just boop, 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 boop. get to five thousand as fast as you can with people with common ground. Awesome, love it, Franny. Let's go. Simple stuff. What else? Let's do three, four more. No BS. No BS. What does that mean? Just no bullshit. Just get the shit done. <laughs> get the shit done. Yeah, actions over learning. Yeah, Gary. That's right. Yeah, action over learning. Because action does what? Results. Makes you learn faster. It, but action will always let, get you fa learning faster than learning. It's weird, isn't it? All right, cool. Two more. Peace Do out. my homework. Do the homework if you want to actually get results because that's where the act it lies in the action, 100%. Action makes you learn faster. Rip the Band-Aid off, says Fee. Just rip it off. You'll get used to it eventually. You will. Trust You will. You'll be desensitized to this. I promise it's never going to be this hard again, right? I promise you will be desensitized. Got to run. Last takeaway. The referral ask. Yes, use the referral ask. Why? Because you can't get rejected. You're asking yeah. for their friends. Do they know? I actually liked the wording that you've got there better than what I've actually been using. Great. Excellent. So go and use it this week. Use it forever now, Lonnie. You got it forever. You don't have to change it. Go for it. You can't be rejected. Go forth this week and enroll your first two customers. I would love it if everyone, after you do this this week, certainly you'll have some leads, but what if we could all graduate from Side Hustle School early? Would Please, go cool? on. Come on. <laughs> you can do it. Start directly asking people more, okay? We have to get out there and be more bold. So homework's on place. We'll post it in the Facebook group, tag you. Do it. Come next week excited because we're going to see some cool results next week and the week after. 
and you're all going to graduate, okay? So super excited for you guys. Go forth. If you've got any questions, pop in the group. Engage your battle teams and go for it this week, okay? Play big. Life is waiting for you to play big. Bye. 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 Bye, Bye Lisa. Bye. Bye. Thanks, Lloyd. Bye. Bye. See ya. Bye.